I'm Carla Castle with Paragon Films and today we're here to talk to you about Tor Can Film and to do a demonstration showing its strength and containment capabilities. As we all know, stretch film by nature is designed to stretch. The further that you stretch the film, the tighter it gets around your product. But there are a lot of variables when it comes to hand film because it's a very manual operation. Variables can include just the thickness of the film that you're using. There could be variables among your employees. A big guy might stretch the film further than a smaller person. It can include the time of day that your workers are wrapping. And even the seasons will have a variable on how far your workers are actually stretching the film to get it tight. Because again, the ultimate responsibility of stretch film is to hold your pallet together in transition from point A to point B. And you have to do that by getting the stretch film tight. Let's take a look at how far conventional stretch film will stretch. This is a roll of conventional 80 gauge hand film. Put your thumbs on that down tight for me. Most of your employees will give the film one pull and feel like that this is enough to hold the load together. But the truth is, is there's a lot of stretch left in conventional film. In fact, if we look at it, the film can stretch a long ways before the film actually gets tight. If you'll turn the roll on its side for me, you'll notice how much coverage we've lost because of neck down of stretching this film as far as it can go. So there are a lot of variables that can come into play whenever you're wrapping with hand film. Paragon felt like it was important to remove a lot of these variables out of the hand film process. So we've created a product called Torque. Pro Torque by nature is extremely lightweight to handle. Compared to a conventional 80 gauge roll, it's approximately half of the weight. Torque is also damage resistant. It has folded edges so that even if it falls off of a forklift or next to a dock door, the edges are protected against damage. But the most important thing that we did for Torque hand film is to give you consistency regardless of who's wrapping. Put your thumbs down on this tight again for me. One pull and the film is now as tight as we can get it. So no more inconsistencies regardless of the time of day the season or the size of your employee, they're all going to be able to use Torque consistently, getting a consistently wrapped load. But of all those benefits that Torque offers, the most important thing, of course, with stretch film is that it's able to secure your load. So let's take a look at wrapping with Torque compared to wrapping with conventional film. I'm going to make one revolution around this product. You probably didn't notice much difference in the way that I'm wrapping with torque compared to wrapping with conventional film. But there are a couple of key differences that will help you be successful, get the tightest wrapped load possible, and the most consistent load out of your workers. The first thing is that you saw me walking forward instead of backwards. Walking backwards, you use your body weight to stretch the film, and most people will have a tendency to tear the film whenever they lean into it. So for torque, we're gonna to ask you to walk forwards instead of backwards. That way you can see the corner of the pallet when you get to it to stretch the film. Here's the second thing that you can notice. You'll notice that I'm wrapping with the film away from my body. So many workers out in the warehouse actually hold the film this way and the film is up against their body. As you can see, it's leaning up against my elbow. It might catch on a watch or a ring. You're gonna stand a greater chance of tearing the film. So we just ask you to flip the roll over and unroll the film so that the film is away from your body and up against the product. You'll also notice that I'm holding the roll of film with my left hand on top. By holding the roll with my right hand on top, the natural weight of my arms causes the roll to be at an angle. You'll see that the film is very tight here, the film is very loose down here, and you'll have a higher chance of tearing the film. So let's look at it again. I'm going to unroll the film, get to the corner, put my thumbs down on the film tight, stretch it one pull till it's as tight as possible, and lay it down around the corner. So how tight and how secure can torque hold your product. We're going to do one layer of film. We'll make a rope with this layer. And we'll do the same thing with a conventional roll of film. One layer, given one pull to snug it around the corners, just like the workers in the warehouse would do. Remember that stretch film is designed to stretch. You need to take as much stretch out of the film in order for it to securely hold your load in transition. 
we've taken a roll of conventional 80 gauge film and we've stretched it. But look what happens as it gets in transit on a truck. And this is what happens as your product is in transition. One layer of torque, because of its patented process, it's as tight as it can possibly get with one pull and it acts more like a rubber band securing your product from transition from point A to B. Conventional film still has lots of stretch left in it and leaves an opportunity for your product to shift. Torque is very tight, securely holds your load. So take a look at Torque Hand Film and the opportunity it has to help your employees with lighter weight rolls, damage resistance, more consistency among your workers in securing your loads and a tighter wrapped pallet.